Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Baixia's Chinese language learning program. Last time we had a Chinese poem. Today we will talk about xiang sheng ci in Chinese. Xiang sheng ci. Okay, this English word is too long for me to, you know, uh, to read it very uh, correctly. So I just say in uh, Chinese. Xiang sheng ci. Xiang sheng ci is a word that uh, uh, imitates the sound of a thing or an action. For example, hu hu, hu hu, is the sound of the wind. Or uh, hua hua, hua hua, the sound of the flowing water. We say this when we describe the sound of something. Excuse me. The next one is ding dong. Ding dong, this is a very easy one. You can say this ding dong, jingle, ding ding dong dong. Okay, the next one is ha ha. It's, it is a, uh, also a very easy one. When somebody laughs, they may be just like this ha 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 ha. This is the sound of uh, somebody laugh, right? Okay, putong, putong is a flop, a splash. This is describe the sound of a very big weight of things fall falls onto the ground or falling into the water, we say putong. Okay, let's see some grammatic functions or features of the xiang sheng ci. Okay, the first thing we need to know, the xiang sheng ci is only the words that imitate the sound they uh, denote. They do not really have some meanings, so they can be separated from the sentence. For example, hong long long da lei la. See, you can see. You can only say da lei le. But if you say hong long long da lei le, it's just that like you describe uh, the sound of the sounder, okay? Rumble of sounder. Okay, next next uh, example. Putong bai xue diao dao shui li le. Putong bai xue diao dao shui li le. Putong splash. 白雪, it's me. 掉到水里, 掉到, it's fall into 水里, 里面, it's in the water. Fall into the water. Oops. Okay, the second thing we know we need to know is about the 相声词 can be used as an adverb in adjunct. For example, 水花花地流着 水花花地流着,花花地 is as adverb in adjunct. 花花地,流 means flowing. 水,water. Another example, 老人哈哈地笑了. 老人哈哈地笑了. 老人,老 means old. 人,people. 哈哈。哈哈地 means Laughed to some sound. Ha ha is laugh. He laughed just like ha ha ha. Okay, the third thing we needed to know is Xiang Sheng Ci can be used as an attributive. For example, Ta Putong Yi Sheng Tiao Jin Shui Li. Ta Putong Yi Sheng Tiao Jin La Shui Li. Putong. This is an attributive. And jumped in the water with a splash. <coughs> Another example: Hu hu the bei feng chui de ren zhen leng. Hu hu the bei feng chui de ren zhen leng. Hu hu the whistling, bei feng north wind, chui blowing. Zhen leng, zhen really leng cold. Okay. The first thing we need to know, the xiang sheng ci is, xiang sheng ci can be used with numeral. It can be used with some numbers. Usually, when the xiang sheng ci is used an adverb adjunct, the particle di is used in the sentence. But when the xiang sheng ci is used with a number, the particle di is unnecessary. For example, bei feng hu hu di. 刮着。北风呼呼地刮着。Did you see this? This one, 呼呼地, is used an 
and the verb being adjunct, so D has to be used in this sentence. D. But if the xiang shang ci is used with a number, the particle D is unnecessary. For example, qing wa pu tong yi sheng tiao hui shui zhong. Qing wa pu tong yi sheng tiao hui shui zhong. Qing wa frog pu tong means plop, splash. See, pu tong xiang sheng ci is used with number yi wan, one sound. Yi sheng, sheng means sound. Yi sheng means one sound. Pu tong plus the number. So, no particle D is used in this sentence. Okay, another thing is, usually, when xiang sheng ci is used as an attributive to a noun, the particle de is used in the sentence. But when xiang sheng ci is used with the number, de is generally unnecessary. For example, 他哥哥的笑声感染了我。他哥哥的笑声感染了我。哥哥的, this is the attributive. 笑声 means laughter. 感染 means infect. But if the 相声词 is used with the number, the particle de is unnecessary. For example, 每天早上,我的手机就会滴滴滴三声响,每次都吓我一跳。每天早上,我的手机就会滴滴滴三声响,每次都吓我一跳。每天, every day, 早上, morning, 我的, my, 手机, cell phone, 会, would, will, d d d it's beep, 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 sound, this is the number three, 声响 means sound, 每次 means every time, 都, o, 吓 means scare, 吓我一跳 means scare me. Okay, the last thing we needed to know, some xiang sheng ci can be repeated. For example, hua la hua la, this is the, uh, the sound of the flowing water. Hua la hua la, the liu shui. Hua la hua la, the liu shui. Or you can say hua la hua la as hua la la, liu shui, hua la la, the flowing water, hua la la. Or another example, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, jingle, jingle. Or you can say ding dong, ding dong as ding ding dong dong, ding ding dong dong, or ding ding dong, ding ding dong. Okay, another example, I don't know if you um, uh, play uh, the ping pong ball when describe the sound of the ping pong ball you can say ping pong ping pong or ping ping pong pong ping pong ping pong ping ping pong pong okay it's uh, I have a lot of fun with this uh, xiang sheng ci. Uh, okay that is all for today I think today's lesson is also very easy uh, I hope this lesson will be um, you know uh, helpful for you to uh, learn how to use the xiang sheng ci in Chinese to make some, uh, some Chinese sentence because we use a lot of xiang sheng ci in our life when we talk. So uh, that is all for today. 今天就到这儿吧。谢谢。再见喽。